The Spanish economy is considered one of the most important economic systems in the world. This economic system depends on a large number of important pillars and factors. The field of tourism in Spain is the most popular in the world. Spain is a powerful manufacturer of machine tools and industrial equipment for the light and food industries. The industrial automobile economy in Spain is characterized by several automobile manufacturing centers, which are located in different cities across the country. In this video, we will show you the largest current and future projects in Spain. But first share the video and subscribe to the channel. The new stadium will be the greatest stadium in the world. Work in progress currently. Progress is being made in a number of key aspects of the project. The new stadium is not only limited to receiving football matches and training. Rather, it extends to include huge investment projects to add new financial returns to the club. The new stadium will accommodate 90,000 spectators. It will expand to 66,000 square meters where it will include large commercial and entertainment venues. This justifies the large total cost of its development, which will be about 575 million euros. It is expected to be completed in 2022. The new project is set to replace the grey hydrogen, which BP refinery uses in the biofuel production process. The project is also working on additional uses for green hydrogen produced at the plant, such as improving the heavy transport sector and transferring carbon to other energy-intensive industries in the region. The 20 megawatts electrolyzer could start operating in 2023. With an investment of nearly 90 million euros, 108.9 million dollars. Iberdrola plans to build the first industrial-scale floating offshore wind farm in Spain, where 66 Spanish companies and technology centers are working on it. The project is expected to create at least 1,000 job opportunities during 2021 and 2022. It also creates 2,800 jobs annually during the construction process. From 2023 to 2026, Floating offshore wind projects can be developed to produce up to 2,000 megawatts. The project will be fully opened in 2026. The project cost is estimated at $1.2 billion. It is the first direct railway line between the two cities, which will effectively improve the transportation efficiency between the two places. It is a standard electric rail designed to help build a modern railway in this area of the Mediterranean arc. And between Mercia, Borb, and Aguilas, the existing single-track railway will be rebuilt. The total length is 106.9 kilometers. There are 23 bridges, 9 tunnels, and 20 buildings. Its estimated cost is 3 billion euros. The construction of this tunnel will contribute to the acceleration of the transit rate between Morocco and Spain. In addition to diversifying the roads and crossings for transporting goods, between the two countries and the European and African continents in general, the permanent link project between Morocco and Spain will be. This will shorten the travel time between Tangiers and Madrid to four hours. It is an important and complex project at the same time because it will link two continents and multiple economies. It will also create a new popularity in the Mediterranean region. It requires the construction of a tunnel arcade with a length of 13 kilometers, which requires more than 13 years of study, experience and operation, before coming up with summaries to see what this tunnel will be like. This pilot phase needs about 0.5 billion euros. Repsol Energy has started construction of an 860 MW Delta II wind farm in Spain. The Delta II renewable energy project will include a total of 26 wind farms. As part of the initial construction phase, Repsol has started work on two wind farms, neither Combita 1 nor Combita 2, with 4 and 12 wind turbines respectively. 
The total capacity of the wind farms in Saragossa is 60 megawatts. It is scheduled to start operation in the first quarter of 2022. Repsol also plans to start work on three more wind farms as part of the Delta II project. After its completion in 2023, the Delta II complex is expected to provide clean electricity to power approximately 800,000 households. The energy company aims to have 7,500 MW by 2025 and double that to 15 gigawatts by 2030. Spain has revealed the first images of its unique project. To create the first fully smart city in Europe, powered by sustainable energy. The city is expected to include residential and commercial facilities. And all the attractions of luxury hotels, huge amusement parks and water parks. It will also include an 18-hole golf course. The stadium can accommodate up to 40,000 people. A port specially designed with berths for recreational and small boats. A special high-speed train station will be built inside it. All streets and smart bus stations are powered by solar energy. The city's first phase is expected to open in 2023, which will include hotels and attractions. The second phase is scheduled to open in 2028. Spain will invest 4.3 billion euros to give a boost to the production of electric cars and batteries. Under a national program financed mostly by EU funds for economic recovery, it will cover the entire production chain and provide grants to companies. With the aim of building the country's first battery factory and promoting electric vehicle manufacturing, Spain is the second largest car producer in Europe. The program will stimulate the creation of up to 140,000 new jobs. The program aims to record the number of new electric vehicles to 250,000 in 2023. In your opinion, which of these projects is the best in Spain? Are there giant projects in Spain that we did not mention? Please write the project in the comments. Here we come to the end of the video. Please share the video and click like and subscribe to the channel.